Hi, this is Maria from Crochet A to Z, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how to make the easy peekaboo mini chevron. I think you're really going to enjoy this uh, stitch, and it is a really pretty stitch. So let's get started, and I just want to mention that in this tutorial, the particular stitch that we're working on, the stitch number is 10 plus 10 plus 10, so you have to do a multiple of 10 plus three at the end. So whatever size you're gonna make, whether it's an afghan, a table runner, a scarf, you have to do 10 plus 10 plus 10, and always remember to add the three at the end. So in part one, what we did was we, as part of part one, I chained 33 stitches. And I'm using a cotton yarn, it's a lion brand yarn, and it's cotton and I wanted to make it in the cotton because I wanted to show you how it looks in the two types of cotton and what we're going to do in part one or number one we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so one two three four so we're going to double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook And this counts as a stitch, so now you have two double crochets in that we're going to do three more chains. So that does count as a double crochet. One, two, and three. Part two, we're gonna skip two chains. That's gonna be your valley. And now we're gonna do a double crochet. So we're gonna skip two chains and we're gonna do a double crochet in that next chain. And then in the next three chains, we're gonna do three more double crochets. See that? And here's your fourth. Part three, we're gonna chain two. Into the next four stitches, we're going to do four double crochets in the next four. So, but we're not going to skip anything. So, one, two, three, four. Here's the fourth. Now in part four, we're going to skip two chains. One, two, and we're gonna do four double crochets in the next. So we're gonna do four doubles. In the next four chains, two, three, four. In part five, we're going to chain two and do double crochets in the next four chains. One, two, three, four. In 
part six, we're gonna skip two chains. And then we're gonna do double crochets in the next chain. So I want you to see, we're gonna skip, cause we're getting to the end. We're gonna skip two chains. And we're gonna do three double crochets in the next chain. Chains. One, two, three. So I want to show you as you're getting to the end. So you did your three chains and you got your very, very last stitch. In that stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. One, two. I think we're up to part seven. We're going to, now I wanna show you something as well. So here's your peaks and your valleys. You're gonna start seeing them. Your peaks and your valleys. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. You're gonna turn your work you're gonna turn your work, and part of number eight is you're gonna double crochet in that first stitch. That chain three is a double crochet, it's counted, and this is your second double crochet. Now what you're gonna do is you're double, gonna double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. So I want you to see that, what you've done, and what you have now is you have, you have your chain three, from your turned work and you double crochet in that first stitch. So now you have two double crochets and then you had to make three more double crochets and then you skip two stitches, one, two. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna double crochet in the next three stitches, one, Two, see, three. Double crochet in your ne next two stitches. So now here's where it gets really interesting. What you're gonna do now is now that you've done those three double crochets, you're going to go into this peekaboo and you're going to do a double crochet right in your little peekaboo. And you're gonna do a double crochet there. And then once you do that double crochet, you're gonna chain two. And you're gonna do another double crochet right in your peekaboo. Let's call it a peekaboo. So there it is. Now you're gonna, gonna double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. This is pot. So there you go. You, you, you almost made like a V, but it, it's in your peekaboo. And then you made three stitches. And then you're gonna skip two stitches. 
you're gonna skip that stitch and that stitch and then you're gonna make three double crochets into this next and then you're gonna do one two three Now, you're back in a peekaboo. Your peekaboo's there. Let's just call it that. And there it is. And you're gonna make another double crochet right in there. You're gonna chain two. And you're gonna make another double crochet right in there. Then you're gonna do three double crochets. One, two, three. One, two, three. You're gonna skip two chains. One, two, you're gonna skip those two chains and then you're gonna make three double crochets. One, two, three. And then in this very last stitch was which is at the very top of that chain three you're going to make two double crochets so i want you to see that you can see it right in there you're going to make your two double crochets this is going to be your repeats for the rest of your blanket that's going to be what you're going to do and if you can see and it's nice to see it in a little bit of coloration because you can see your peaks and your valleys and that's how you make this and so what you would do is again you would chain three two three you would turn it around And you would put a double crochet right in where your chain three is. And that would make your first two double crochets because that always counts. And then you would go. And after you do that, because you're going to make your double crochet in the next three stitches. So you double crochet, you made your chain, that's where your chain three is and you turn your work. Then you make another double crochet in there and then you make your three chains and then you skip two stitches. So you skip those two stitches and then you make three double crochets. One. Two. three and we're going into our peekaboo so here's our first peekaboo and that's see where you made it before so now you're going to go in there and you're going to do your double crochet your chain two and your double crochet And then you're going to do double crochet in the next, so there you are, three stitches. You 
you're gonna skip two, one, two, double crochet in the next three stitches. And you're coming to your next peekaboo. I call it that. There it is. There's where you made your two. So now you're going to go right in there and you're make a, going to make your first double crochet right in there. You're going to chain two because you're right in there. You're going to make another double crochet in your little peekaboo. You're going to make three double crochets in the next stitches. One, two, three. You're going to skip two stitches. One, two. You're going to make three double crochets right in here. One, two, three, because I want to show you there's your three and then in that final where you had your chain three, and if you can see that, at the very tippity top of that chain three, you're going to make two double crochets. I wanted to go slow with this so that you could see it done like in parts. I'm a very visual person, so I like to see what I'm doing. And there you go, you're gonna go right in there again. So we're gonna go right in there. And you're gonna make your second double crochet. And then when you continue this, you're gonna chain three again, and you're gonna turn it around and again, you're going to go into this and make your two double crochets and you continue that. And this is the repeat. That's the repeat. Once you get past this row, this is your repeat as you go along. So you're going to repeat that same. And see how pretty it is? And I want to show you what it looks like in the acrylic. And this is the cotton. And I'm going to actually make this in a cotton for as a table runner, as a gift for someone. And you can see your peaks and your valleys. You know, there's your valleys and then there's your peak. And and it just, you can just see it. It just formulates really pretty. I think this is a really pretty um, chevron stitch, one of the prettiest that I, I've seen. So uh, this is Maria from Crochet A to Z. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And thank you for subscribing if you have. I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to show you the next thing I have planned. So this is again Maria from Crochet A to Z. Have a great night. Please leave me any comments if it is anything you'd like to see or if you need um, more help on this you can always email me at crochet A to Z. Um, there is an email address there that you can email me. So please, again, subscribe. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye-bye.